Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your booty burn workout. So in this workout, we will be using body weight moves to really strengthen, sculpt, and tone your entire lower body, legs, glutes, inner outer thighs, hips, and of course, that booty. So you don't need any equipment, just a little bit of space to move. If you have a set of dumbbells or a kettlebell, I will give you some options to add that in. Otherwise, just yourself. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start just with a quick little warm up. Just go ahead and march it out, roll through the shoulders. We're gonna keep those warm up pretty short so we can keep this workout not too long. Big deep breath in. So as always, get more of a warm up and a cool down and stretch on your own if you need it. Let's go one more. And then let's just warm up through our spine, flat back down, even though we're gonna keep it all lower body, just to make sure that all of those connected muscles and bones and joints are feeling good. One more, hold it down right here and just roll those shoulders while you're also gently pushing out on those inner thighs. And then let's walk it in, roll it in and just tap and reach across. We'll just get the blood flowing and over your head. So this workout is gonna really target the booty. I am gonna give you options. There are gonna be some things where we're gonna try, bring those knees up to get really low. I said this before, but one of the keys to really targeting the glutes, the back of the body, as we tend to be a little bit quad heavy, and let's roll through those hips, is to get super low in those squats and lunges and really press through those heels. Now, I know that's not always easy for everybody. Maybe you have some knee issues or your joints or you're just tight. A lot of us lack a lot of flexibility. Let's just squat it down, roll through that hip. So I will give you options if you can't get as low as I am. Just make sure that you're focusing in the heel. So we'll do some standing stuff, we'll do some mat stuff, we'll keep it short. And then let's just take it side lunge, press through, really again opening up those hips. Breathe. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Good, and then just a little stretch forward. Just go as high as you can. Don't worry if you can't actually touch, but these kicks tend to really stretch out those hamstrings, get them ready to go. Okay, so you don't need any equipment. If you have your dumbbells or kettlebells close by, I will give you some options to add them in, but otherwise, let's keep it here. Okay, so we are gonna start with our nice deep squat. So watch me here. We're gonna squat it down, Turn those heels out, heels in, bring it up. Looks like this. As low as you can go, heels out, heels in, bring it up. I would love for you to touch the floor if you can and keep that back flat. Here's what we're not doing, guys. This and then rounding up. Really make sure you drop those hips in and up. And if that feels like too much to turn those knees out, just keep it regular squat. That's okay to you. I know you may not have a floor that it's easy to turn those feet on. So totally fine. Let's go three. And up, two, one more. And then I want you to take it down, hold it down right here, toes out, lift up, drop it down. Lift up, drop it down. If that feels like too much, just keep it here and get as low as you can go. But if you can, I want you to think, extend up through the legs, drop the hips. Extend up through the legs, drop the hips. Extend and drop. Last one, and then keep it here. Turn those toes in. Same thing from here. Extend up, drop it down. I know you're feeling that burn in your quads. Keep the weight in your heels. Take it up, drop it down. Take it up, drop it down. Again, totally fine to be here. If you can, just think you're extending up for four, three, drop low, two, one more. Whoo, burn, right? I know, so those quads really wanna take over, right? They're our strongest muscles, there's our forward muscles. Keep the weight in the heels, get low, and then it should target more of those glutes, right? Okay, so watch me here. We're gonna cross it over into the side lunge, cross it over into the curtsy, 
back to here push out so it's a little bit tricky straight leg get low cross down stay low straight leg push out so this leg should have all the work join me here lean side lunge cross it back here push through lean cross it back here push through too much to get that low take it here take it here the hardest part is getting back into that side lunge right lean cross here and up take it low cross down stretch out long push out of that hip here 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 push through here two more down cross last one cross here bring it up shake it out let's go ahead and get that same thing on the other side watch me first step out and lean touch cross behind really low curtsy stretch it out long push out of that hip maybe get some space here cross here good join me the tricky part is you want to go here and then step out of it but really work hard to get in to that side lunge so you can push out of the hip again totally fine to be here here try to get low if you can the floor is helpful for a guide here we go two one more relax shake them out all right so turn to the side just a bit so you can see me here watch me here we're going to switch gears to a little bit of a deadlift so if you can i want you to take it here little slight bend in the knee in both knees flat back push up through the heels so we're here touch down if you can push up if that feels like too much just keep that foot down and don't go as low join me when you're ready here we go take it down weight in the heel bring it up you're gonna balance you're gonna feel that core working if you're a little bit shaky that's okay just keep the weight in the heel and again if you need to take that back foot down here and breathe three more two more one more watch me here if you can i want you here bend the knee squeeze it up so i'm bending that back leg and a little bit of that attitude that you get from bar or dance if you need to be be here to here let's go eight seven little bend six yes you're gonna feel it in your foot we're strengthening those muscles too four three two one more shake it out yeah right turn it around to that other side we're gonna start with that deadlift so remember if you can slight bend in both knees touch the floor bring it up making sure we're not rounding in our back or foot down ready here we go so here and up or here and up that works weight in that heel balance pull that core in deep and breathe here and up yes two more last one watch me here take it here if you can bend it down squeeze it up so a little bend in both and up if you're here it looks like this Woo, balance for both four eight seven squeeze in those glutes six five four three it's almost harder to balance up top for me two one more relax all right let's go ahead and grab a quick sip of water right breathe heart should be pumping we're sneaking in that cardio as well right all right team so we're gonna take it to a nice wide lunge I'm gonna give you some options but watch me here if you can 
I want you to drop it all the way down on your knee. If that is comfortable for you, what we're looking at is just pushing out of the front heel, barely lifting that knee off the ground and dropping it down. If you wanna fold that knee, that mat up or a towel underneath, totally fine, go ahead and do it now. But what we're trying for is really small, little lift and down. If you need to, you can keep it a little higher, not go all the way to the ground, but I still want small range of motion. So join me here, here we go. Push up halfway and down, weight in the heel. Down and down. Weight in that front heel. I know you're feeling both, because also they're tired from those other moves. So I want you to really think about that front leg, doing the work. If you're here, still keep it low, keep it small. Here we go, four more, four, three, two, one more. Watch me here. I'm gonna lean into it here. Get that stretch if you can. Drop it down, push it up. So watch me, I'm really gonna lengthen to get that stress. Stretch at the top. If you're here, just lean into it, push it up. If you need to be off the ground, breathe. Low to high, really getting down. Four, three, two, one more. One more thing from here, watch me here. Tap it in, tap it side. Tap it in, tap it side, take it back. You can be here, if that feels better. I know that quad is burning. Low, try to stay low, toe to knee. Toe, knee to the side, toe, knee to the back. Four, Woo. three, yes, two, one more. Relax. Again, I know you're feeling that quad, but keep the weight in that heel. Trust me, you're gonna feel those glutes tomorrow. Turn yourself around. Other side, okay. So you know what to expect. You can lean forward, get a little stretch through that quad. So we're nice and wide. We got that small little lift for our lunge. And then we'll take it with that length and lunge, almost like that little stretch or yoga pose. And then we'll tap it in, tap it to the side. Starting here, core is in tight, little lift. So you really have to make that leg do the work. Push into the heel. This leg is getting the resting point. I know it's burning, right? And breathe. Up and down. If you need to, you can be here. Just keep it small and keep this leg doing the work. Try to get low for four, three, two, one more. Watch me here, lengthen here, drop it down. Try to keep those hands on the ground. If you're not, then just go down and lengthen. Almost like that little deadlift, right? And breathe, and breathe, and push. Good, four, three, two, one. Are we ready? Drop it low, hands here. Toe, drop the knee to the side. Toe, drop the knee to the back. Toe, knee to the side. Toe, and back. If you're here, toe, drop it low. Here, drop it low. Low as you can go, weight in the heels. I know. Four, three, two, one more. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Woo, lean into that here. Ha <laughs> ha. Breathe. All right, team, how about we take it down to the mat, since we're already down here. We're gonna keep it short. I know, we had a lot of burn there, right? So let's take it here first. Get a little stretch back with both of those. Give your hands a little break. I know I was really digging into my fingertips. Stretch it out here. On all fours. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hip. Core pulled up and in. You're not holding your breath, but you're zipping up that deep core. And watch me here. I'm gonna lift up, cross over, up and down. Side, double side. So up, cross, up, down, 
two lifts to the side. All staying on this side. Up, cross over, up, back to center, side, side. Here we go. Up, flex that foot, high to low, lift from the hip to the side. Here we go. Up, cross over, up and down, two sides. We'll go one more right here. Up, cross over, up, two sides. Good, pulse it straight up. Little lift, squeeze, keep that core in. Abs in tight, not arching that back. Keep squeezing right at the top for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Good, cross it over right here. Little pulses over to the side. Try to keep those hips square inside of that glute. Breathe for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Pulses up to the side, little lifts, lifts. Core is pulled in, keeping those hips and shoulders as square as they can be. You're gonna be moving a little bit for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stretch it back. Ooh, I'm sweating, you guys. Sit to that side. Dripping, it is hot in here today. All right, you can stay here, get that little stretch, or Let's take it to a little plank, just to rest our glutes for a minute. Keep it here, drop it to the side. If you happen to be doing this workout and you are pregnant or early postpartum, or you have diastasis recti, which is that ab separation, I want you to stay here. You can just get that breathing or get a stretch. Everybody else, take it here. Breathe, a little lift. Four more, four. Three, two, one. Stretch it back. I know, I snuck that plank in there just so our glutes could get a little break, right? I'm gonna turn to this side so you can see me. Pull everything in here. Here we go. Up, cross over, up, take it down, double side. Really lift, full range of motion. Here we go. Flex the foot, cross it over the back of the leg, double side and breathe, here we go. Up, cross, up, lift the hip to the side. Breathe, yes, flex, cross, and double. Think about that full range of motion. So what I mean is not just this, and then little lift, really go through it. Up, cross over, not arching your back, but squeezing in the glute and the hip. Breathe, up, cross over, and breathe, lift. Two more, good, and lift, good. Pulse it to the top, pulse, pulse, squeeze, breathe. Yes, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, cross it over. Pulse over that back knee. So really, and this time you're going aiming down. Breathe. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, to the side. Pulse, little lift, get it high. You can drop to that elbow if you need a little break for the wrist. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax it down. Whoo. Nice work, team. Let's slowly roll over onto your back, right? Breathe, take it here. Move my microphone. And then if you have those dumbbells, you wanna rest them right here or that kettlebell. If that feels good for you, let's take it to a bridge. Slowly roll it up, drop it down. Start slow, really connect with that core. Lift in those hips, I know they're tired, but I want you to really think, pull up and in. Starting really slow, press into the heels, slowly up, breathe. One more, slowly up and down. Watch me here, so I'm gonna go up in the bridge, cross it over, take it down and down. Take it up, cross, down and down. If that feels like too much, you just keep that single bridge. That's okay too. 
And again, if you have those dumbbells, you might lose your balance a little bit, so just keep them steady. Up, cross, up, and down, up. Yes. Two more. One more. Up. And down. Good. Bring those legs up. Get a little stretch. Ha ha ha. Right in those hamstrings. Good. So I want you to leave one up. I want you to, if you have that dumbbell, you can rest it here. We're going up, lower, up, and down. Up, lower inner, and down. Up, turn that heel in, toe out. We get a little bit of extra inner thigh. Dumbbell would be here. Four more, here we go. Four. You don't have to get super high. Maybe your legs are tired like mine. That's okay. Two more. One more. Yes. Relax, bring that other leg up. Get a little stretch, right? Woo, yes. Good. Take it up right here. Up, inner thigh, and down. Up, inner, and down. Up, core, into that heel. Four more, four, down, three, two, one more. Yes, and relax, get a quick little stretch through both of those. Yes, good. Slowly turn it over, ha, I am sweaty you guys. Breathe, turn it over into all fours. Yes. So we're here, little stretch back. Breathe. So as a modification for this, especially if you are pregnant, I want you to just take it to that bird dog. You're just here. I know it feels boring, but trust me, you're getting all down the back and the glutes. Everybody else, if you can, Take it down here with me. We're gonna lift. Click those heels in. Three, two, one. Drop it down. Lift. Three, two, one. Drop it down. If this doesn't feel good to you, you keep that bird dog. If you can, lift the legs up to the thighs if you can. A little lift to the shoulders. Click those heels. And down. Three, click, click. And two. Squeeze in the glutes. Last one. Good. Bring those hands back. Keep clicking. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring them in right here. Little lifts. Lift those knees. Lower back. Glutes. Three, two, one. Relax. Good. Ha. Stretch it back into that child's pose. Right through here. Breathe into that. You can even sit to one side on the hip. Again, other side. And if you can, if it's comfortable for you, take it into that pigeon pose. And you can modify that. You don't have to get parallel just here. If that feels like too much, just stay in that child's pose. We're just gonna stretch out that hip, lean into it. Breathe. And switch to the other side. Take it here. And lean. Take it in the front, take those knees out if that's comfortable for you and just gently press out. If you want more of a stretch, bring those feet in. Woo, man, you guys, sweating. I was feeling it all the way through. Take one leg out, fold it over. 
and just go as far as is comfortable for you to get that hamstring. Be sure, go ahead and switch it, to check out all of my other workouts. I have everything from no equipment to dumbbells, kettlebells, bands, TRX, balls, all of it. And check the links in the description below. Go ahead, one more little hip stretch if you can do it. Start them out here, cross it over, and then if it feels okay, bring it in. Check the links in the description to all of my eBooks and programs. Those are just structured, curated programs using the videos from the YouTube channel. So if you're looking for a little more of a schedule, a little more structure, check them out there. And my nutrition guide just to give you a little bit of insight. It's not a diet. It's not a super strict plan. It's just a flexible way to give you a little bit of structure, answer your questions, and help you build a balanced plate. Good, and one big deep breath in. Be sure to like and subscribe. That helps me out. And breathe. One more right here. You did it. Thank you for showing up today. That was your booty burn workout. Great job, everybody.